Welcome back to Dead State. In this video, looks like we're going to find some food. Welcome back everybody. So I think in the last video we ended up getting our party set up and everything. Yeah. We yeah, have Bud, Max, Ro me, and uh, Vic. We need to get food. Uh, I'll show you what I was, this is what I was looking at in the last video. I realized it, but we have 1.2 food. We need to go get food. I don't remember if I went to the supermarket um, just because this is the third part so I can't remember if we went in this part or the one before it. So we're gonna take a look there and see exactly figure out where where to go at, right when we get into this map here. So Bison Street. Did, I think we checked that out fully. Pharmacy, strip mall, we did that. Downtown Splendid. Visited, oh, okay, it tells me if I visited. Visited one time. Zero time, we're not going to the, we're not going to the uh, human campsite. This is the problem with going to places and then leaving. Uh, like, because I wasn't sure if I can do, like, be in that area. We get we get a little bit more left. Let's head to or west. I'm sorry. Actually, no. Let's head up here. Let's head northwest. Just because we might be able to find an alley, I don't think we're gonna find anything good in an alley. Now, Bullseye Street looks like we might find something good. So let's check that out. All right, let's look around a little bit, see what we got. A big store. Okay, so it's a one big store. A couple entrances in the back. I feel, I don't know what the inside of these this looks like yet, so I don't, this is probably like a back storage area, I'm assuming. So we might, uh, we might look over there. All right, hold on, let's see. Is he? Is, he? is, that, is, that, is that the, that is, that's the, Where's tab? No, let's see. That was right. Okay, uh... Trying to figure out if I want to... Looks like a lot of zombies. I feel like we should eliminate zombies first. So let's get Bud with his crossbow. Let's switch places with... Or not Bud. Yeah, Bud. Let's switch places with Vic. And then... Yeah, Bud has a crossbow. That's what I was looking at. Uh... Yeah, we're gonna take out zombies. Let's begin. Let's circle around, get anyone with their back turned. All right, and then we're gonna move up. Not the best. Okay. Um, let's move back. As always, shooting is the last thing we're trying to do, even if it's a crossbow. Oh, come on. Are you taking me down? That's fine. Yep. Kick in the face. Okay, and then let, uh, can I knock down? I can. Who dead. D E D dead. I know that's not how you spell dead. Why you couldn't walk in the middle of us? Let's knock you down. Wow, I'm just awesome. 
Not really. Nah, yeah. Uh, three parts. We need parts as well, but uh, at the moment, we need food. I've been focusing so much on building and finding parts that I haven't been able to actually look for food. I haven't been looking for gas. I've been focusing solely on uh, parts to build to get the fence and the watchtower up. I really wish Max was. I need to lead with Max. I need to lead with Max. I think uh, strategically because if I can get Max to go before me at any time. Then I can pull Max up with my go and have him have them go have him go again. So that's what we are, are going to do. Where is he? There he is. There. There's oh what I definitely hit Z. I thought I had it on. Oh. Okay. Oh, wait. Just, oh. Just hit that. Okay, that was a full shopping cart. That makes sense. Alright. So we're going to do this. Ooh, Max did not get the kill. That's kind of surprising. All right, we gotta make sure we save at least one point. Okay, right, that's fine. There we go. I don't know why I did that again. There you go. Got him. Looter. Oh, you know, I just noticed I had. Throw that over there. Oh, crap. You heard me. Does Max have to go first? He does. Got some gas. Yum, got some delicious worms and rotten food. God, I love the worms and rotten food. It's the best. Proteins. Maybe not the rotten fruit. The worms, though. I don't want to use this crossbow. I want to see how I want to see how it goes, uh, how it does on a zombie. Because I've seen it on people, I've seen it on zombies. Yeah, that's a storage room. We just seen through the window. I forgot that you can actually see through the windows. Oh, I thought I hit it before this guy spotted me. But we're still going before him. I find that. Odd. <gasps> oh, come on. That kind of startled me. <laughs> oh, she definitely seen uh, <sighs> definitely seen us before. And uh, she's going last. See, that doesn't make sense. You even heard her, you even heard her like groan. Oh, I thought I, the camera kicked up, and I thought I was on uh, Vic or Bud, and I thought one of them were about to shoot. Slightly panicked. 
Right, let's get this guy's attention. Max is so aggressive. You're in my way. Like, what the? Calm down, dude. So much hatred. Now let's pull him back. Hopefully this will... He won't be able to do any more. Yeah. Maybe? Doesn't it save that to the like, the last? No? Should I... I don't know if every, I don't know if all their steps are different by the way. I don't know if the zombies have a certain like limit they can do or it's just random. So if you know, let me know. All right, there you go, Max. See if that attracts anyone first. Did not. Alright, do we have a two for one over here? No. Let's uh let's try to get one at a time. Don't wanna be risky. Except I do wanna take her out. There we go. Ooh. Okay, they see him. We're not going to waste the go command just yet. Ooh, there you go. And then... Now do the go command. And that's how that worked. And now uh, we got to take out this one, which if something is in there, like close to the window, it'll definitely see or hear us, I'm pretty sure. So just like I can see out the window, I'm pretty sure they can see out the window. Don't, I don't know though. So again, nothing, if you know, let me know, that'd be some good in some good advice. Because I'm trying, I want to make this, I want to finish the game on this one. Oh. Shouldn't I just walked in? It's fine. We're good. Let's just uh, buddy up. I think he's going to have to come through over here. I think I'm going to try to do this, send them all out as like a group. Or like two separate groups. Ooh. I like that crossbow. Come on. Oh. It didn't let me go. It skipped me. Oh my gosh, it's fine. Don't, don't bite him. Do not bite him. We're good. Well, that's Vic, I thought it was Bud. That uh, changes a whole lot. You know what? I'm, st I'm sticking with it. Sticking with it. This might be a bad call, but it's 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 my call. Like I said, might be a bad call, but it's I'm gonna stick with it. Dare bite him. 
Right, let's clear line of sight for this gentleman right here. I know I shouldn't be wasting the ammo, by the way, but I'm going to take advantage of the situation and clear, try to clear this out as clean as possible. Hmm, I actually do want Bud to go again. For, for I want to, I want him to start moving over here with him. I know it doesn't do much because now Bud can't go till next turn, or not next turn, but the turn after that. He has to wait one turn. But it'll still kind of push him over in that position just in case he... This guy gets in the fight. He's a little bit closer. Just send him up right here. Kind of wish the guy didn't... Or Max didn't look back. Right, then we're going to send him... There we go. We're going to send uh, Rogue and Vic out to the right. Start clearing out this area. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh shit. No, wrong person. Why did I send Bud back? Got carried away. Oh, well, you know, they, we could just do that. I didn't get them in position fast enough. But now, I mean, we can do it now. No, I thought we could. Oh, we did. Some, somewhat. So if you guys have not caught on by now, I'm trying to make it constant with the... I'm trying to make it like... Low kind of bit, kind of, kind of like trying to get my characters in position before we kill this group, so we can clear out spots. Bud needs to step in over here. Vic just or Max just got so rounded. I can move up four. I hope you're a good shot. You're a good shot, but you didn't kill him. Okay, Max, we can get you out of here. Okay, let's knock this guy down. Nice. Really wish uh, Vic had a melee weapon or and or a crossbow. So if I can find a bow or crossbow, I'll give it to Vic as well. Maybe, maybe. I kind of like Vic having the two, two heavy firearms. He's a good shot. Hey, don't you dare. Oh, we gotta, we gotta be wrong. That's fine. Max can handle himself, honestly. Like, even with that, even with those, having those three over there. Or three, yeah, two. Those two. Even having those two over there, if I didn't do that go thing, I still think Max would have been fine. Did you just hit Max? You did. Son of a bitch. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, why did I move him? Why did I move him? That made no sense. Okay, we're not going to have him do anything. Max is going to kill him and it's going to reset. Maybe. Oh, we got it. You guys are going to get ambushed. Or they're coming out of everywhere. See, he doesn't, like I said, because he doesn't have a melee or a uh, quiet firearm. Ooh. That was no good. It's okay. Again, we're, we'll, we'll save him. Three turns. We will not save him. Okay, Max got him. But, uh, that would have been bad. Bud's not good at defending himself. <laughs> he, 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 good with firearms, but other than that, he's not the he's he's not the best at uh, anything defensive. I'm assuming because of his age. I don't know why I went to go do that. Let's back up. I should have healed. Why did I heal? Oh, this dude's limping. Why is a handprint on his back? I never actually realized that. Okay. Hey. I think I didn't get taken down though. I am not trying to shoot at the moment. At all. I don't know where all these people... All these zombies are. There might be some more back here. There might be more over here. Like, I don't... I don't know. Alright, we're gonna have to... I say we... Kill... I do go. I think I have one more turn. I do. Don't get him. There you go. You're good. Looks like there might be the only two left looking at the top. Uh, the player scroll. Hmm. I ain't gonna waste any ammo. Any more ammo. Ooh, should waste ammo. Actually, it looks like we're almost finished. There's three, so there may be one more left. They're just yelling. They're just yelling all across the store. I'm like, don't shoot, and they're just like, okay, one less. Just give your give your position away. <laughs> okay, let's heal up. Okay, let's make sure this is all clear. And then after uh, clearing it, we will search everything. Hopefully, find food. Luxury items are good as well. But yep, here we go. But we really need food. Oh, crap. Max got this. Oh, he's already slightly he's wounded. Yeah. Alright, I mean, that looks. Maybe in this room? Is there one in this room? No. What about this back room? I think anything in this back room would have heard me kill that one. All right, let's start. I need, I need the. Let's start here. Okay, so there's nothing in there. Got some food. Yeah, we're on a pipe wrench. Why? Ooh, 
Well, so we got some Max treats. Little snacks for Max because he probably, he, if he's already done with that one bottle I gave him, there's a problem. I don't think that it's been that many days to finish a bottle of sleeping pills. Just throwing that out there. Um, ammo. Anything else? No? Really? Really? I'm... Okay. I just, I, I was just being sure I didn't miss anything. Ooh, got some chocolates. I don't know why I keep doing that. Let's return that, though. Food rack, got some more food. Okay, so this was the place to go. This was the place, definitely the place to, uh, to get all of our, our to get food. Stuff. Shopping carts, and food. Hardware or houseware shelf. That's not bad. Outdoor supply shelf. A chainsaw. I mean, five out of five. Though many video games have made this item out to be an ideal melee weapon, its extreme weight and noise make it a dodgy choice for any fight. Use, as they say, at your own risk. As this model was designed for chewing through wood instead of bones and body armor. The chain and motor won't survive prolonged use as a weapon. Okay. That's a... How much does it weigh? 10 pounds. Alright, let's uh, take everything other than that and then give that to someone else. We're definitely not going to use it, though. So, let's give it to Vic. How much more space do we have? We have... Oh, we have, like, we can fit 9, 0.90. That's, yeah, that's too much. I don't know why I tried doing that. I can't even take that. We'll find something that you can take. Three, one, three, ten. Oh my god, a guitar, by the way. Now that is something that we want. I don't play the guitar, but I know that it, it that should definitely boost morale for some people. If you don't mind the noise and aren't in a zombie apocalypse, and probably shouldn't be making that much noise anyway. Ooh, some rechargeable batteries. We're finding a lot of stuff in here, guys. Gotta get that candy bar. We're good in here. Let's go outside. I think I looted everything outside other than zombies. Who haven't we? I think we searched all these people out here. Did we get this car? Yeah, we. I'm pretty sure we. This. That's it. I hope I didn't miss anything. We still can carry a lot. Bud can carry some stuff, and I think Max can carry some. Yeah, I know. He can carry almost 50 more pounds. It's like 50.5 or 50.20, for sure it was. And then Bud can carry some. Vic's gonna, yeah, we need, we can keep going. Let's uh figure out somewhere else we can go. We might just keep heading northwest, honestly. I mean, that seems like the best bet. Let's go over here a little bit. Let's go up a little bit. That was this. The Wicked Lily. That might be f food, a bar, I'm assuming. That's what it sounds like. There's probably doors open, some blood right there on the ground. Definitely looters here. Okay, let's, uh, let's get that rifle ready. Make sure their firearms are reloaded. They are. Are loaded. 
Alright, I'll lead the way. Well, I... We'll let Max lead the way. Just so he can, because he can pick up some stuff. Look around outside a little bit, see if we can see any vehicles. Anything that may give an indicator that there is someone that are some bad people here. Raiders, coyotes, bandits, whatever you, leaders, whatever you want to call them. I don't know what I, I I know there's only sir I don't know all the enemies in the game by the way, so we're gonna be running into some stuff that are that is definitely gonna be new for me. Like this place, I've never been to this place ever. This is my first time being here. That door's blocked. Yeah, this is okay. So that door's blocked. That's a, a locked door. I'm assuming there is bad people in there. It's a bar. Or we might find someone in there. Those doors are locked as well. Those doors are locked as well, though. Okay. Who can pick locks? I think I am the one to do that. Alright, Max. Lead the way. You got Vic behind you with a shotgun. So, I feel pretty confident that whatever we come across, you guys can win. I think that's food, right? Or herbs. Yeah, it's food. It's all that matters. Alright, and then easy laundry. This door was already open in the back. I feel like we should go through the front then. What? No. He was going to walk all the way around. All these doors are locked. We're not locked. All these places are aban abandoned. Why? We can carry 10. That's all we can carry of that. We can still carry... Two point ninety. One point ninety, I'm sorry. Now we can point ninety. So we can carry one of these. And then let's let Bud pick those up. That door's seventy, that door's fifty. So we're going to go to this door. Oh, the door's open. I just thought it may be locked. This is, this is weird. There is... Usually when this has happened, there are survivors here. There's survivors there. So I think this person may be... We may have a good person here. Or a bunch of bad people. And that's why it's abandoned. So we have to go through the back. It's 23. We can we can do it. Let's uh I don't know what I'm I don't know what I'm in for right now. Oh, mechanical skills are too low. Okay, well, looks like we're uh breaking it open. Should I max break it open? Oh. The dead guy dragged in the closet. Place is all barricaded. Got some camping gear right there. Okay. There's a... Medical... Station or tattoo. That's a tattoo thing. I'm assuming or a machine and stuff All right, let's actually let's let Vic lead this I don't feel I'm not Too confident to figure out what I'm gonna be Coming across here. I'm stuff I carry 
carry a good amount. Let's loot while we're in the room. Some bookshelf. Uh, book. Got some books from the bookshelf. Again, can't forget those worms. Right, there's doesn't look like anyone in here. I didn't see that through the because of the grass. I think I checked it. Oh, Amy, stay back. I have a gun. God, I don't even know if you're real or it's just another nightmare. But but, stay away from me. Easy, we just want to talk. I, I don't remember how long I've been alone since Dustin, she stifles a moment, but keeps her hands wrapped tightly around the gun. It's been a while. People have tried to break in, but a warning shot scared them off. I, I don't want to kill anyone, but I will if I have to. It's okay, you don't have to kill anyone today. Let's you and me talk about it. All right. The young woman looks at you suspiciously, but lowers her gun slightly. Oh, okay, we'll talk, but any funny business and I will shoot you. I understand, just keep talking. Dustin and I, we hid here, watched things go to shit, waited for the revolution. What he said was gonna be the overthrow of the old order, but it wasn't. Everything just fell apart and, and never got put back together again. He, he, killed himself and I've been here been here all by myself since running out of stuff to drink and and I couldn't even bury him proper so he's in the other room and still I I can't leave I don't know where to go or why you don't have to stay here Amy I've got a safe place you can come back there I promise I a safe place I don't I guess I don't have anything left here for me I got all my stuff packed. I, I meant to go once, but I stared at the door and lost my nerve. I guess I guess I'm ready now. The thank you. No problem. Just stay close by and follow when I leave. Okay. So we got a new person. Never the first time ever seeing her in this in in the game. That's pretty cool. I just don't know what her skills are. So that's going to be kind of hard to pick up on. It must be hard to pick up on. But it might change my order if she's good at firing the, the firearms and stuff. She said she doesn't want to kill anyone, so I'm assuming she hasn't shot the firearm much. Alright, what time is it? 11.17. Okay, I mean, I think that was a pretty successful day. I, I think we got a lot of yeah, 67 food that that's good. I don't think we're gonna eat more than that So right and then I got some stuff I can give away and let's see what everyone's working on and we can Yeah, you know, we're gonna set everyone to the garden Amy Sisko Cisco Sisko Okay, she has your survival, four mechanical, five melee, one ranged, zero science, three medical, two negotiation, zero leadership. Wow. Okay, so she's going to help with the watchtower then. Because that's all she can do at the moment. I don't think Bud can do anything. Bud can do the work on the garden a little bit. Max can work on... How much time do we have left in the day? Five? Let's see if we can try to get this down to five. I don't think we will. Ooh, we can start the garage. Ooh. Start the garage. And we can do a workshop. Man, I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what to do. Um, so, I'm between the garage and the workshop. And maybe, just maybe, the recycler. That might be a good idea as well. Or we can save up for the fence. Let me know down in the comments. Save up for the reinforced fence, do the garage, recycler, or workshop. Let me know. So we're just right now going to keep it where it's at. 
Or let's send her just to do this. 21. Okay, so let's do this. Wait the day out. Okay, so we might we can try to work around this maybe fig, maybe uh tomorrow we can put someone on the from the garden to the watchtower lower that time as much as we can get rid of it and then all go work on the rooftop garden and see where we can see if we can finish that as well all right let's call it a night let's see what we what we've done hopefully we have improved all right, let's get bombarded with questions as soon as we wake up. Oh. The shelter fence was attacked. Looters have done 30 damage to the fence. The earliest they could attack again is day 25. Six attackers, zero guard, guards on duty. The fence is now at 80% integrity. Wow. Oh. Hey, hey. Davis, we just got food. So you had a meal. You had a meal. Calm down. Oh, I didn't read it. It was... I didn't read it out loud. If we don't do anything about it now, we risk a lot of unhappy people and the possibility of breaking... Uh, of a breakdown of the shelter we've worked so hard to build. Unless we come up with a... In a medium plan, we all risk starvation. Are there any suggestions? Look, you all know as well as I do that we could go out there today and find a truck full of canned goods. If we make a make a big deal about it, the whole place will start panic. I see his point. My advice, we get out there today, we find what we need, and we bring it back. Gee, but I'm on board with whatever you decide. There's nothing wrong with fasting. Almost every religion is a form of it. Sometimes giving up food can show you inner strength and an inner strength that you never knew you had. I don't agree with that. I'm not gonna starve people. I don't think rationing will hurt anyone. We can tighten our belts a bit if it's for the greater good. I'm willing to go without if it will help, and I think others here will be too. To you. It's time to make a decision. What do we do? Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. I agree with Vic. I fully agree with Vic on this one. Todd definitely has more people, has more supporters. Um, I don't think we should fast though. That doesn't sound like a good call. We will wait and see for now. We will look for food and hope we find enough. Everyone in the shelter will have to take reduced rations for a week. If it's edible, we serve it. We should be able to immediately boost our supply on bugs, brats, birds, and weeds. Ew. We have too many mouths to feed. Leave it to me. I'll take care of our problem the more direct way. No. Um... I think we should find food. We'll wait, we'll wait. We will wait and see. For now, we will look for the food and hope we find it enough. I agree, I disagree. More people disagree, I don't care. Mark, you're a chef, man. You can't tell me you're that tired already. Okay, we're gonna do this one. More people agree than disagree. Yes, that's my final decision. The decision is to not to implement any major changes and to do our best to find food. It's the best course of action, of course. We're going to have to bring up the food count today, but we don't have to risk a shelter-wide panic in the meantime. I don't know what this will accomplish. There seems to be more practical solutions available to us. That concludes our meeting. Let's hope the food situation doesn't get any worse than it is right now. I agree, I disagree, moral decrease in the shelter, 17, sub leader, moral penalty applied, minus 10, mood decreased for each ally, minus 5. Sorry. Oh my gosh. What is happening? I'm sure it won't come as a shock, but moral among the survivors here has plummeted a little. 
as of late. If we don't turn things around, there's a good possibility that people may leave, stop cooperating, rebel, or even give up. For the this place to hold together, we need to do something immediately to boost morale suggestions. I can't help but think that we're partially to blame for this. We're responsible for these people, and they're no longer confident that we're going to be able to protect them. We need to take their minds off of our recent troubles, give them some relief, even if it's just for a day or two. Maybe you got something, whatever it is, I'm on board with it. I know that from my discussions with some of my friends here that they feel that the need to constantly ration food reminds them of how different their lives are now. We haven't rationed food. We actually agreed, disagreed with it and he's the one that wanted it. If they had one day of indulgence where they could eat until they were full, it might revigorate them. Or our church picnics definitely used to raise the spirits of some of the less fortunate members of my co congregation. Congregation, sorry. When things were pretty bad, Jesus held a feast. I think the idea we can take away from that is that it can bring people together in the face of adversity. Uh, I disagree. I disagree completely with that. I don't care what the decision. I, I'm not going to make this deci decision or anything towards Todd. We'll wait and see. We'll focus on securing more supplies that will help morale. What? Oh my god, they all disagree. We don't throw a feast, we don't have food, guys. The proposal is to do nothing in me. Uh, no. I'd say no. Everyone disagrees. We have some bad influences spoiling it for everyone. I'll find more immediate way to deal with them. Everyone, di we all disagree. Everyone disagrees. More people agree with that. All right, let's let's see who. Yeah. Okay, so we will do this one. The decision is to keep looking for more supplies that might boost morale. I guess it kind of hurt to try. So you got my support. This isn't trending to the needs of the people here at all. Honestly, there's very little I can do to keep reassuring them that things will get better. That concludes our meeting. Hopefully our situation will improve in the near future. Yes, guys, I know. It just does it's nonstop. Hey, I thought you said you'd help me with the pregnancy. Why haven't you gone to the clinic yet? Late. What? It's been like a day. It's been a day. Maybe two. I think it's been two days. I will. Other stuff came up. I'll go soon. Good to hear it. But look, I don't have much time left before I have to take action myself. A week, probably. Please try to get... Right, I'll do my best. <clears throat> Guys, I, ah, uh, ah, uh, just so much. There's so much on my plate right now. The pa I am, I, the panic starting to starting to set in. Um, we have to pull, we have to pull, bud. We have to pull everyone off that. We, oh, I didn't want to do that. I really wanted to. I had something planned today. Okay, and now that I, we just kind of work with what we have. But let me know what we should do next in the comments. That does it for this video. If you liked the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to check out the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram down in the description below. And hit follow and join the Rogue Army. And help me with my goal of doing this full time. Also, don't forget to check out my Twitch. I stream on random days starting this Friday. Don't forget to come check it out. I'm going to be on from 12 p.m. to whenever. So don't forget to come check that out. And to stay updated on the random stream, I will make sure to make sure those posts in Facebook, Twitter, and then on Instagram, I will also post. I will start trying to get into that more. I've kind of shifted away from it a little bit. But I will return and start posting more pictures, more stuff, more content for the Rogue Army. Thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video.